Being a Witcher is so 2021, it's all about being a vampire in 2022. Hello right bags, it's Jay taking a look today at V Rising with their beta, closed beta, about to begin on the 23rd of March. I thought it's about time we do a more in-depth look at this. I've been showing it off a couple of times in my survival show and I'm really liking the look at this one. A survival game where you will be a vampire, feasting on the blood of villagers, vampire hunters, taking on all sorts of mythological beasts in online PvP, single player and much more, building up your own castle, exploring a beautiful gothic world. Sound good to you? Sounds good to me. Let's cover everything you need to know about V Rising right now. So if you love games like Diablo, Torchlight, you're going to really appreciate this viewpoint, a classic RPG, but with the mix of survival elements. And this is what makes this game pretty fresh to me. So I actually have a proper full-blown survival game, an online PvP, if you want it, survival game as well. Exploring dark and misty little biomes with a little bit of sunlight occasionally. I'm guessing the vampire's got sunblock on. And coming up against ferocious beasts as well as possibly other players. It has got all the trademarks you would expect from survival. You can base build, you can craft, you can customize your home to make it that little bit more appealing and get that coffin right in the right spot, as well as your dungeon. You are a vampire that awakens from your slumber after years. Weakened, you need blood, and you go to a settlement to regain your strength while hiding from the scorching sun. You'll be real building your castle, converting humans to your loyal servants, and hopefully raising a vampire empire. You'll fight against holy soldiers, make alliances online, and even have war against other players. So obviously very gothic themed. You will be able to play solo, pillage villages, raid bandits, and wander into the domains of supernatural beasts according to the Steam page. On the Steam page they also really list that you will be planning your day by the day and night cycle, which is pretty unique, because in every other survival game going, night time is the time that you spend in your base crafting all your weapons or loot. The PvP aspect is definitely something that's also the icing on the cake. I love a bit of PvP, but often it just doesn't work very well when you mix it with PvE. But this could be different. I like the idea of this one, raiding other players' bases, but with this type of viewpoint. So yeah, I've yet to see games like these where it's top down and have like actual online raiding. A few in the past have had some sort of PvP component. Lost Ark I think has something like that at the moment. And obviously that's massively popular. A huge difference though, a massive MMO compared to maybe this. But it's the same kind it's the same kind of viewpoint I would say. Speaking like no one's ever heard of an RPG, but for most of my survival fans, playing a survival game like this is a bit unheard of. I absolutely adore Torchlight, not as big into the Diablo series. I'm hoping this has got a pretty decent UI and control scheme, something nice and simple. The combat looks pretty cool, the special moves, the abilities, the shields, they all look pretty badass and the amount of different enemies you're facing, many looking like mini bosses, it looks pretty good. Now a trailer they showed off back in December shows much more detailed combat gameplay and I'm kind of hoping there is some sort of control support. I know it's a PC game but hopefully, hopefully it might come to consoles in the future and I'm definitely more at home with a controller than I am a keyboard. The sight of seeing all them different keys to have to use is making me a little bit angsty but I will get past that because the game does look great. It definitely has got a great unique look and the verticality and the ways that you can move around with your mounts as well as just typical walking around. It's pretty cool. It looks like it's a huge open world as well where you can go into all sorts of different directions. No direct linear path as you can see from the minimap there. And at any stage you might come across a creature or something unique or something that might ruin you in just two hits. So this beta that's about to begin in the next couple of days, it is going to be a week long one. It does look like they're going to have quite a few areas to go and explore the beginner starter experience. No progress will carry over from any of the private alphas they've had running. And obviously none of the progress from the beta will go over to the early access version. You will be able to choose between PVE servers or the PVP servers in this beta test. And it looks like they're going to have servers based in Europe and the Atlantic. Now it does say here that it will be under NDA, which I'm bit sad about. I was hoping maybe I could show some stuff off this week, but it does look like they're going to have a second close beta test as well at the end of April. And so hopefully that might be the time that other players get a chance to show the game off on social media and stuff. If you're a content creator, they will have a program. That's what they kind of let me know about a few weeks ago. So I'm looking forward to that. You can still go and sign up for future betas. So don't miss out. Check out the website, which I'll leave a link to in the comment section and help shape this game. 
It has got a bit of a comical element as well by the looks of things, the way that you can dispatch some of the humans and obviously take in their blood and stuff. And yeah, it's just a really unique vibe. I haven't seen something like this in a long, long time. Something so fresh, something different. Obviously that survival element, I'm sure it's gonna be all about actually blood rather than just typical food and water. So the need for blood may mean that you might have to chomp on some of your own villagers. Looks like they've also got werewolves and a whole bunch of other mythological creatures in this game. So I'm very excited about this. Some more details about the world. You'll have at least 50 castles per server. You'll be able to move directly through the different regions. Typical biomes like lush forests, open farmlands with villages, caves and dungeons. And you will have obviously the bosses, random encounters of patrolling humans and vampire hunters. It's made by the same people that made Battle Right, which was like a MOBA PvP game that came out a couple of years ago and it did look good. I thought the animations and the art style was pretty cool but it didn't really make a big splash so I'm really hoping this next game of theirs really takes them to another level. So yeah I'll be covering Stunlock's V Rising hopefully in the future. Let me know what you think about the game. Is this the type of survival game you could get behind and as ever I'll be back for the regular survival show this week with more looks at survival games news. Until then, later's wrap bags.